Hi, I'm Lara from Geoscience Australia, and today we're going to talk about the hugely popular computer game Minecraft. Here at Geoscience Australia, we really like the game Minecraft because it's all about rocks and minerals. But of course, being a game, that means that some parts of the game are fantasy and some things in it are true in real life. So let's start talking about bedrock. So in Minecraft, bedrock is fundamental because it's at the bottom of the Minecraft world. But what about in the real world? Well, if I was to go outside, bedrock is everywhere. If I go outside and I dig through all of the soil and the sediment, all the loose material, eventually I'll hit bedrock. So that means that there's bedrock under your backyard and there's bedrock underneath the sand in the oceans. Some places that sort of bedrock is basalt. In some places in the world, it's granite. And in other places, it's sandstone. Let's talk about this one. So the beautiful piece of obsidian here. It's a lovely black color. Most obsidian in the real world is black, but in the game, it's purple. And it's formed from underwater springs flowing onto lava. That's not actually that hugely different from the real world. Once upon a time, this piece of obsidian was lava. And it cooled so quickly that it didn't have time to form any crystals and so instead it's formed glass. Now in the game, obsidian is, uh, has a high blast resistance. In the real world, being glass, if I was to drop this on the floor, it would shatter into a million pieces. So there are some similarities and some differences, but this is the only one that'll create nether portals. So the last one I wanted to show you is redstone in Minecraft. And this is a redstone called Jasper. There's no such rock in the real world called redstone. But there are rocks that are red, like this one. Now in the game, you can use redstone to create circuits, but that's just fantasy. You can't do that in the real world. You need metals and semiconductors to create circuits. Minecraft is a great game of skill and problem solving. It shows us how reliant civilizations are on resources that we get from the ground. So when you're playing the game and you're fighting zombies and building castles, don't forget to now and then go outside and have a look at rocks. Start your own rock collection and start to build your own lifelong understanding of the rocks of the earth.